Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna talk about Alien Romulus. We just saw the movie today, it's the Friday of the launch. I know it came out last night. Got the trailer playing behind me on the outdoor TV. Um, you know, I wanna talk about this movie in the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, I think this is kind of the, the tale of three movies. Uh, I will share with you right now, when I started watching this movie, I'm a huge Fetty Alvarez fan. I thought he was awesome. I thought he did a great job with the Evil Dead, which just popped up on here. Uh, he was the producer of the 2022 Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which I think is one of the worst remakes. So when it comes to like Fetty Alvarez and what he's done, like I, I respect the heck out of him. Don't Breathe is a great movie. So I went into this with really high hopes. And like I said with a lot of the movie reviews I've had recently, I don't think it was a bad movie. Uh, I think the movie started out pretty strong. I thought it was interesting. You know, when I watched this movie, my first vibe I got was very much a Dead Space vibe, which uh, I love. Like, I'm waiting for the first, like, great live-action Dead Space movie. I can't believe we haven't done one yet because I think it's incredible. Uh, you know, my challenge with this movie, as I, I think with most of the new movies that come out, is I, I start watching the movie and I think it's, it becomes very, like, the characters are very vanilla or generic. Uh, you know, insert random attractive young adults, teenagers into this horror situation uh, and, you know, and have them go into space and, you know, the characters are okay, uh, you know, but again, I started to think back to like Alien and I really liked the characters like an Alien, like you had this kind of lived in quality in these characters and even with like, you know, the, uh, the pilot in the movie, you know, the female, the, the shaved head uh, was kind of, you know, I, it was, I think she was just there to try to be more edgy and then you just got into the kind of the other characters just felt very, very generic to me. So I was a little disappointed with the characters. I don't think they were bad by any stretch of the imagination. I just don't think they were as ex exciting as they could be. And then we started to get into the story. I like the story, you know, they're, they're on the, the planet. So this takes place between Alien and Aliens. Um, so this is, you know, these group of kids that live on one of the, 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 the to see if it ties into the colony from Aliens. I've done some research. I can't get a definitive answer if it ties into that colony. I don't think it does. Um, but what I have noticed in, you know, it did feel very similar, right? They're on a mining planet. Uh, the planet's not very hospitable. There's no sunlight. These young people want to get away. And Wayland Yutani's kind of trapped them there. So they find this derelict ship in, in their atmosphere that has some um, cryogenic pods that'll let them get away to this other facility, that, but they're gonna have to steal it. So it's kind of this whole story of them trying to escape from this pretty desolate and isolated la uh, lifestyle. So I like the part of it. The beginning part is great. There's a lot of suspense. I was watching the beginning of this and you know, there's a scene where they get on that ship and they start to you know re-engage uh, all the, the life support mechanisms and all of a sudden you see the eggs start you know to melt. And I thought it was great. Like there's a lot of suspense at the beginning of this movie. Uh, there's some pretty good buildup with like the synthetic person that's in the movie. Uh, there's a couple of throwbacks to Alien itself. Uh, I love that the technology they use is very antiquated. Uh, you know, CRT monitors, very chunky lettering like you had in the original Alien movie, which I thought was great. Like it felt like very much an homage to Alien. Uh, and there's some really good scares in the movie. I think the first two thirds of the movie are excellent. Like I said, other than the fact that I find the cast a little bland, uh, I thought it was really a good movie and well done. I thought it was very scary. The final third of the movie, uh, like I've had with a lot of movies recently, I just don't, don't really love the ending. I'll give a little spoiler here. So if you don't want to see that, just pause now. Um, you know, and I'll give me a second and I'll go back into it. Uh, all right. So we'll have the spoiler if people didn't want to pause. Uh, there is like an alien hybrid at the end of the movie. Kind of think about like the alien. And um, yeah, it's not good. Uh, the hybrid's not good. Uh, not alien resurrection, but alien the third, right? Uh, it's not good. It's not a good hybrid. The only thing I can think of was it's a hybrid human alien monster. And it just looked like Gabe from The Office to me, if I'm being honest, like it kind of sucked. Uh, and that took me out of it a little bit, but I, I think this movie is more Evil Dead on the Fetty Alvarez side than it is, not, you know, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022. So I would definitely give it a recommend. I'd probably go like a six and a half out of seven. I wanted to like it more. I thought it started great. I thought the ending just wasn't great. So if you look at the first two thirds of the movie, excellent. The last third of the movie, not great but not terrible, just an, an average movie at the end. But again, enough of a watch, enough good scares where I think you're gonna enjoy it. Guys, if you haven't done so, so far, please hit that like and subscribe button. We appreciate all of you. We've had some great movement recently on the channel. With that being said, we'll talk to everybody really soon. Stay scary.